When we woke up and said yes this morning, I did. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to read um, Psalm 91. And life is always life, and, but God has the answers. When we need the answer, he is the only answer. <laughs> not your sister, not your brother, your cousin, but God, right? So we have to stand strong and firm in who the God is. He's a God of answer, and he's a God of um, just deliverance. He's a God of peace. He's a God of comfort. When we don't know all the answers, he has the answers. So we look to him. So this psalm says, Psalm 91, he, and we're going to go all the way down to, oh, the whole thing in its entirety. Let's go. <laughs> he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His troops shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid. For the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right side, but it shall not come nigh thee. How many know that? Amen. Things falling all around you, things breaking and moving all around you, but you are standing in the will of God. Amen. Only with thine eyes shall thy behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge. Even in the most high thy habitation. Where there shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come thy my dwelling. Nigh thy dwelling, sorry. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and dragon shall thou trample under feet, because he has set his love upon me. Y'all say that again. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. Do we know your name this morning? Yes, he does. I said, does he know your name this morning? He knows my name. Does he know yours? Are you sure? Are you sure that he knows the name that he's given you? The name that you should be walking into. Do we know your name? All Are right. you answering to him calling your name? Yes. Amen. Glory All right. He God. shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. God, thank you so much for your word. It says, work out, work out thy own soul salvation with fear and trembling. And so we working on our salvation. We showing up this morning. Yeah. We making things right. We repenting, right? Mm -hmm. We repenting and turning towards God. God is faithful. He gave us another day. Our job is to worship him yeah. in spirit and in truth. Yeah. It is our duty. It's not our responsibility to worship the living God who breathes and pumps life into our very veins. Yeah. He is worthy. He is worthy. Y'all give it up for worthy God this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we're going to pray. 
for God to do what he um, can only do. Precious God, thank you for this morning. Oh, God, thank you. Thank, thank you. you for life, health, and strength, oh, God. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you for life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for your delivering power, Lord God. Thank you for your manifested miracles, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for your glory in this house, oh, God. Your yes. manifested glory yes. in this house, oh, God. We thank you. We humble ourselves before you. We don't count it that you woke us up this morning, oh, God. So we say yes to your will, Lord God. We say yes to your way, oh God. Father God, lift us up, oh God. Lift us up, oh God, so that you may be lifted this morning, oh God. Oh God, deliver and set free the captives, oh God. Those who are bind and wounded, oh God. Those who are grieving, oh God, this morning. Lift them, lift them, show yourself strong, oh God. Father God, you said you would be our strength, oh God. And we're counting and pulling on the fifth the God that gives strength, oh God. So we thank you, oh God. We illuminate you. We lift our banners up before you, oh God, lifting up the name of Jesus Christ, the name that saves, the name that heals, the name that delivers, oh God. Hallelujah. We are lost without you. We are nothing without you, oh God. We cry holy, oh God, to your name. We call righteous to your name, oh God. Oh God, we lift you up in this sanctuary, oh God, this day, oh God. We thank you for life turned around, oh God. We thank you for people walking up the stairs, oh God, coming into and being gravitated towards the house of God, Lord God. We thank you, oh God, that in the word you said you are our refuge, oh God, in a time of trouble, oh God. And Father God, we know that we are in a troubled world, oh God. So Father God, we thank you, oh God, for delivering us, oh God, in that trouble, oh God. Setting a standard, oh God, Father God, for us to live holy, oh God. We thank you, oh God. Oh, God, for everyone who is lost, oh, God, who is trying to find their way, oh, God, yes. that there be a yes in their spirit, that the yes. convicting power of the Holy Ghost will convict them to righteousness, oh, God, will convict them to holiness, oh, God. We thank you and yield, oh, God, to the Holy Spirit this morning that yes. you may have yes. your precious way, oh, God. Have your we way, thank Lord. you, oh, God. Blind eyes being open, oh, God. Cause the lame to walk, oh God, hallelujah. Cause the eyes to see you like never before. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you, oh God. Oh, hallelujah, we thank you. Oh God, hallelujah. For your mercy, oh God. Your new mercies every morning. Your grace, oh God, hallelujah. For our limbs, oh God, our bodies, oh God, to walk, oh God. To stand, oh God, we thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Oh God, we thank you, oh God, for the corporate elevation, oh God, for the corporate elevation in the spirit, oh God. We thank you for one body and one mind, one God spirit, oh God, oh God, to lift your name on high, oh God. We thank you. We appreciate you this morning, oh God. I pray for Apostle and Pastor Samuel, oh God. Father God, lift them up, oh God. Oh God, as, as they lift you up, they will draw, oh God, all oh men, oh God. And so, Lord God, we thank you. That the house will be filled, oh God, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that the miracle will be displayed by your name in Jesus' name, oh God. Use them according, according to the measure that you have given them, oh God. Oh, thank you for the leadership in this house, oh God. Oh God, cover each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Oh God, we thank you. Amen.
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hallelujah. Ooh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Oh, oh, this morning I woke up. I woke up with a, the scripture, Psalm 100. And I can see, literally see that scripture in acted, right? It says, all that men will praise him for his wonderful works, right? And it's as if the Holy Ghost said, now stop right there, pray right there, right? Because, <laughs> hey, what, what? J.J. Harris, the world of son, said, what has God not done for us? Uh-huh. What has he not done? When you really think about it, what has he not done for us? What has he not done for us? He's given us the victory. He's given us glory. He's crowned us with loving kindness. What has he not done for us? Oh, man. Oh, that we would praise him for his wonderful works. Huh? Just like the dream of being on Sunday. Just say that scripture. All the men would praise him huh? for his wonderful work. And they can praise him, right? Right? Remember how Apostle Paul is that, huh? To respond to the word of the Lord, right? Right? So when I say, oh, that men would praise him for his wonderful work for us, what you gonna do? Hallelujah!
most high. Therefore he brought down their hearts with labor. They fell down and there was none to help. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and broke down they and taught them not say, I'll uh, send them. Oh, the men would praise the Lord for his goodness to them, for his wonderful work for them.
pray for safety, amen, um, the uh, anticipation, right, of other attacks in the city. We want to pray for that. We want to pray for our government this morning. In those chambers, a lot of confusion. How many know God is not the author of confusion? Amen. We want to pray that Congress would get on one accord. Yeah. Huh? That Senate would get on one accord. There is nothing Got something else they want to pray, pray for family. Pray for families. Pray for family. The Draper family. Yeah, their brother. Yeah. 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 We want to come home. Amen. 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 We want to come home. He went home. He went home. He went home. Oh, oh, okay. Amen. Feel the table. I'm sorry. Glory to God. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you. We want to pray for that big Prayer, faith believing family this morning. Amen. And they won't let the standard down. Hallelujah. Who that they'll hold up the blood stained banner. Hallelujah. Which is Christ Jesus. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Are there any other prayer needs? Church, we got to pray in these hours. We got to pray. We got to pray. All right. Now look, so you know on Saturday morning my tell the intercessor. Y'all jump in. If y'all hear me miss somebody, just say it. Just say it. Pray for that. Right? We'll jump right on it, okay? Because uh, we are excited this morning. Amen. Amen. Ooh, amen. 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 Pray for somebody. Just today. Amen. Ooh, glory to God. Come on, lift your hands. Lift your, and those who are, uh, 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 what you want to pray for? Those with the other eyes are speaking in tongues. Uh, she have a prayer request. She got a prayer yes. request. Yes. Pray for my grandson. His name is Chantel Ellis. Chantel Ellis. Okay. I don't know if I should tell you why, but just pray for him. Hey, is he sick? We don't want to put on Facebook. I, I don't want to necessarily know the details. No, we don't want to. No. Okay. 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 Just pray. Okay. Does he understand? I just want one word to think like that. He needs so salvation. Go right salvation. Salvation. Thank you, Pastor. That's Now we can go with that. Y'all see what I'm saying? Give me one word. Give me something. We can go with that. Right? Well, hallelujah. We don't pray on this. We pray to get results. Hallelujah. We got to be targeted. Glory to God. Okay, come on. Lift your hands. I got my shot. My mama, my mama, side. Man, we'll shot you.
we are working and exercising the truth that you give us that we might live by every word that comes forth out of your mouth. Father, I thank you for Freedom Christian Assembly this morning and everybody that tied to it. I thank that we represent one body in you. Oh God, we worship in one spirit in you, Jesus. Oh God, we thank you for cleaning our hands. <laughs> We put our hands. Ooh, you washed our minds. How are you giving us new thoughts, new ways? We are not bound or limited by what we see, but we shall see and we shall speak what you have seen. And we decree everything tied to this house shall be saved. Everything tied to this house shall be delivered.
Don't you ever forget God cares.
poet there say it's hot after last week. <laughs> I went there. Uh -uh. Especially if you spent the day with us yesterday. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We was out in the cold, oh, wasn't we? <laughs> but our superheroes was out, so that's all that matters. They had fun. Hey, hey man, you have your Bibles. Let's turn to Romans the fifth chapter. Hey, we have the presentation. Too. You guys have your uh, your presentation papers. Amen. Your, uh, faith works papers. Yes. If you don't have them, raise up your hands. Right here. Do we even have it? No, we have it. Yes, we have some. Hey, man, hallelujah. Well, guess what, y'all? What? It's a good day to be alive. An even better day to be alive in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's good to see everybody here on this morning. My girl Divinity is back again. She has surprised me for the second Sunday in the world. Lord Jesus. What you say? Oh, is that what she said? She said that? She got her schedule changed? See how God works. <laughs> You move on your faith and everything to move forward. Wow, look at that. That's an old yeah. word right there. Yeah. You move on your faith and everything to move for you. Why? What is this? Is this mine? It's not my own. Oh, <laughs> hey, man. All right, we got Romans 5. I would not be long before you, but the Holy Ghost will. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. I had something for them. I'm going to wait to get to page, uh, where are we on, four? Mm -hmm. I stopped at the Ripley. Yeah. 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 Because I'm thinking. Let's go back there. Come back up. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Okay. You know, I got you. Make sure I'm right. I, talk. I, ain't, I can't go before him, right? I can't go ahead of him. I go before him and be perfect, but I can't go ahead of him. I just be hearing the word in my head. You know? so, don't mind me. All right. Will you ready today? You sure? Ooh, I like that. That's what I'm talking about. It's a nice hoodie, too. I like the hoodie. I know about these jeans. Y'all so holy with these jeans. <laughs> right, I don't understand that one. <laughs> I get it though, I get it. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> Habakkuk, ain't that it? Habakkuk, two and four. Well, no, I want to go back to verse one of Habakkuk. <laughs> two. It says, I will stand upon my watch. Now, this is after Habakkuk, he was, had all these questions, right? He's asking God these questions. And trying to figure out, God, why would you send these Babylonians to take over your people, your chosen people, right? And the one thing we got to realize is that God ain't no respecter of persons. Oh, I said it with proper grammar. God is not a respecter of anyone, right? In the same way he treat Amber is the same way he's going to treat Mother Michelle, right? Uh, and now, now, believe me, it's different authorities and different rankings in certain things because of experience. But God ain't, ain't switching up on nobody to say, hey, I like Mother Michelle better than I like Amber, right? So Mother Michelle got the right to act up and Amber don't, right? See, that ain't, you, 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 my right mom, that's right. She can't act up. She ain't going to act up. But, but we can't sit up here and say because there's one that's saved and then there's one that's not saved. There's Amen. a different kind of faith. Now there's a different time, kind of grace because you stand in grace. But, but when we, we look at certain things, it's the same God that requires, requires, hear that word, requires the same approach to righteousness. Amen. And so Mr. Becker, he got beside himself. He was, he, he was angry at God, I say, or just trying to get an explanation out of him, right? And so when he's asking God all these questions, this is all um, chapter one, so I'm just saying it so I can set this up. He's, he's mad, he's trying to figure out why the Babylonians are coming and how dare you use these pagan people to come over here and take over your people, 
right? We've been right in your eyes, right? And so he thought. And so God took him, this is another chapter, he took him to the secret places of some of these people and realized that these people wasn't right. Wicked. They was as pagan as the pagans. Yeah. I'm right. They, you know, the Babylonians at least believed something, but these folks, they believed and didn't care. Uh -huh. The Babylonians at least committed to what they believed. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? They was dedicated to what they believed. Uh, but here you go, you got the Israelites who got the true and living God on their side and they don't even want to be committed to him. Don't want to be dedicated to him. Uh, I had a, uh, this was years ago, this is a, a friend, she, she um, got married to a guy that was a Muslim. Now, she wasn't a Muslim, but because she loved him so much, she converted to being a Muslim. I'm like, ooh, wait, that's something different right there. But you know what she did? She committed to the lifestyle. She ain't eat no pork. Come on. And we try to give her some pizza. She almost slipped out. Then I'll be no pepperoni on that thing. Uh, no sauce, none of that, right? Because she was committed to her husband who was committed to his religion, right? That's the, how deep that commitment was. Uh, and here I am, a Christian. I don't care about none of it, right? Like, you ain't got to, we, we got grace. We got mercy, right? Because we think. We've been forgiven for stuff that's dead. Mm -hmm. But yet we still resurrect the dead thing. Mm -hmm. We resurrect the dead thing and ask God to continue to forgive us for it. Mm -hmm. Forgive us for it. Forgive us for it. And God, like, I'm not trying to keep going back and forgiving you. Right. That ain't, I thought we was better than this, right? Huh? You don't get in a relationship with somebody and they keep on cussing you out, treating you wrong, I'm beating on you, right? Uh, and you think that's love now. Some folks do think that's love, unfortunately. But you think that's love, right? Well, that ain't love. Uh, I, I can't sit up here and beat on a woman and start telling her I love her, right? Right. Uh, right. You that's can't right. either, right? All right. Yeah. Make sure we put on it. But, <laughs> but I can't continue to, to, to act like I'm somebody different than what I'm saying. That's right. Amen. And so here we go. And uh, Now, the good thing with Rebecca he realized that, okay, God, I just had a fit and I just had a tantrum. Now I'm going to shut up and I'm going to wait for you to speak. Mm -hmm. And he said, I will stand upon my watch. This is verse 1 of uh, chapter 2. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me. He didn't go to the tower to see where the Babylonians were. Mm. Here this closely. He didn't go to the tower to see... Where, where the enemies were coming, because that's where they went to, on the tower for to watch to make sure the enemies weren't coming. But he said, no, I'm going to wait to see where God is. I'm going to wait to see what God says. Uh -huh. uh, I ain't worried about the enemy, but I got to worry now about what God says. And so it's very important for us to realize that what God says trumps everything, even our enemies. That's right. yeah. and, so, and I will and, and we'll watch to see what he will say to me. And what I shall answer when I am reproved. So he knew he was going to get reproved. Mm -hmm. huh? Y'all you know what reproved means? He knew he was going to get corrected. Corrected. Uh, that's nice. That's me being nice, corrected. Mm -hmm. You know, in school now, they, they say you have to redirect the child. Mm -hmm. huh? You have to redirect them. We don't discipline, we redirect. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so, they're right. That's what's wrong with them. You know, back in the 90s, they still had a paddle. I, don't, I, don't, I know that. You ain't never seen a paddle in your life. I know. But, <laughs> it's still time. <laughs> uh, they had a paddle, so you knew if you got told something once or twice, and it was more than twice, that principal, you knew personally. And we had a principal, her name was Stella Lomas, and I'll never forget her. Uh, Caledonia Elementary. She never had to use a paddle on me. Yeah. I, no, she didn't. I got right after the first time. So, uh, I, look, I knew, I knew better. I knew if I got beat by the principal, I'd have more beatings coming. Amen. I, I don't like beatings. <laughs> All you gotta do is tell me once, and I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I ain't saying I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna push the button, but you tell me don't push the button once, I, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. Now, my sister, that's all that story, but that's all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Verse 2. <laughs> And the Lord answered me. Wow. So he knew God was coming and God definitely did. He came to speak, didn't he? And said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables. Now a lot of us, we use this verse in this passage to um, write our own vision and make our own vision plain. 
for what we want, right? I see a lot of people make these vision boards, these vision boards and stuff, and I ain't mad at you. You do what you got to do, you know, uh, speaking to your own life, go ahead. But they, they try to use this, this passage, and that's not what God was trying to say. <laughs> he said, make it plain so that you know why you're about to be in bondage. This is what he was saying, huh? Make it plain so there ain't no mistake. And there ain't no, no getting mad while you about to be locked up, huh? Treated like a slave, huh? Because you went away from the things that I told you to do, huh? So let's make that plain. Let's make the word of God plain. That's what God is saying. Now let's make it plain. Now this is a lot of deep talk out here and they don't make no type of sense. And everybody going for it because it's tickling their ear, right? Huh? They like that. Uh, it gets the people excited. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and, and so, but it ain't what God said. Or they mixing up what God said. So, and then uh, I was telling um, my Amber right here earlier this week that don't try to read so into the word that you trying to get so much context that you miss the relationship of who God is. Because we're in an age where information is everything and, and everybody want to put things into proper context, right? They want to make sure, okay, so who is God talking to here and how is he saying this here? But yet, they're not talking to God. They're just reading the letters. Uh, and the letter can kill without the spirit. Uh, the letter can kill without the spirit. So everybody reading this into context, but ain't got no Holy Ghost. Uh, God made the whole earth and ain't nothing moving until his spirit said move. That's right, uh, that moved higher Ooh, to his spirit said move. So we have to realize that we can't put God into our information chamber uh, and our desires uh, and flipping things to what we want because God ain't here for what we want. He's going to give us the desires of our heart. Hear me plainly. That means he's going to give me a desire of my heart, meaning that I'm going to desire him so that he can give me what it is that he wants me That's to have. That's right. Wow, he feels the passion in my heart. Yes, he does. Wow. All right. And Lord answered me and said, <laughs> write the vision and make it plain upon tables or tablets that he may run that readeth it, huh? so that you give it to your messenger so he can go. And for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. It shall do what? Speak. It shall speak and not lie. Wow. Say so it ain't going to lie. It ain't going to lie. My God. Yeah. Though it tarry, wait for it. It means it's coming. Come on, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Come on, Behold his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright within him or in him. But the, the nah, 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 this is the best part, and I messed it up. But the just, say the just, the just, the just, the just. who's the just? I am. Say it again, Sister Jane. Who's the just? I am. Huh? I'm the just. Huh? And I should live by what? My faith. Y'all hear that part? I got to live by my faith. You got to live by what? Your faith. Your faith. Your faith. Your faith. Your faith. Huh? When Sister Sandra got to live by her faith. What God told her has to come to pass. She can't be looking up there worried about what Minister Cynthia doing. Huh? Let's just Cynthia do what she doing. Right? Because you may not be able to handle the faith that was given to her. And she may not be able to handle the faith of hallelujah that was given to you. Huh? According to whose faith? Your faith. Huh? Be it unto you. I was getting, you just made me go too fast because that was in my thing. You, know, you just made me go too fast now. Y'all slow down. All right, so turn to uh, the ripple effect part again now. We can keep it going. <laughs> I wanted to make sure we had that part because we want to make sure that we have an understanding of who God is and what he said. Because if we don't, we'll be waiting for somebody else to get it. I was um, listening on Facebook. It was some uh, preacher. I was telling this on uh, Wednesday. It was some preacher. Um, he, he sounded real real uh, intelligent and real deep. And he, he's an apostle. So maybe he was from Africa. I don't know what, what his name was. I don't think it was the guy who used to told me, but he started speaking of um, Lucifer. And in it, he was saying that, well, Adam wasn't the first man. And he got real deep. And I'm like, wait, okay. Oh, 
And it's like Adam was the first man. Lucifer was the first man. Now, the way he said it with all these deep analogies and all this other stuff, it, it, it kind of turned and you'd be like, oh, oh really? Uh, that's how easy the fall of man happened. And that's how easy we get to see. And God had to tell me, now, hold on. First and foremost, Lucifer wasn't no man. That's plain. Plain and simple. Make it plain. Lucifer, everybody say it with me. Lucifer, Lucifer was not a man. Was not a man. He was an angel. He was an angel. Uh, made to worship God. Huh? Created being. Yes. Not a man. Not a man. And he was starting to go into how Lucifer was the the, the image of God because he was Ooh. the angel of, of lights and all Ooh. this other stuff and worship. Mm -mm. And so he was the first image of God. Like, right? no, 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 no. Mm -mm. This is what the Holy Ghost told me, plain and simple. No, 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 no. I could turn the lights on wherever I want to turn the lights That's on. That's right. And I could turn on. <laughs> I wasn't going there. <laughs> but I could turn the lights on wherever I want to turn the lights on. That's right. That's it. Huh? Because it pleases me. Mm -hmm. Huh? Because I made it all for my. What are you making for me? All three of them. This? Come on now. <laughs> what are you making for? All right, what are you making for, Devin? Okay, Amber. 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 All right, he made you for what? His pleasure. So he made all this stuff for his pleasure. That's right. And so Lucifer was made for God's pleasure as an angel of worship. And you had, what was another angel? He had a whole bunch of angels, but the ones that were named was Michael and Gabriel and all that. Michael. You know, Michael under the authority of God for real. Yeah. Because he go to war. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Michael was probably like, hey God, Lucifer up here tripping. <laughs> I'm just making a plan, you I'm telling you how it went. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> how I know how it went down, I'm telling you. <laughs> and that's how Jesus was though for real. Because he was I was there, y'all, and I'm telling you. And they ain't like that. But no, the way I'm saying it is, Mike was probably like, yo, God. So he didn't talk about a third of the angels against you, saying he going to be God, right? And so what you want me to do, Michael said. But this is Michael. Now, honestly, I think Gabriel went and told him. Gabriel was the messenger, right? So Gabriel probably told on Lucifer. Gabriel did. No, I'm kidding. So they went together. Okay, there you go. All them other angels, they done messed up, God. <laughs> he like sent me and tell him on Sakai all the time. <laughs> Guess what he did? Guess what he did? Guess what he did? Yes. Daddy, daddy, look, look, look. <laughs> uh, and so there was this telling on Lucifer. God got wind of it. He said, okay, well, Michael, I need you to go and I'm going to give you this power, more power. And Michael was down for it because Michael was a fighter. Michael going to fight to the end. And he went and he said, you know what? Uh, I'm going to go ahead. And God gave him more authority. You hear me? Come on, anytime you come to the throne of God, he's going to give you more authority. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, hallelujah. Come on, I'm preaching, y'all. I'm really yeah. preaching. <laughs> he came to the throne of God and he gave him more authority. Huh? He said, okay, go ahead, Michael. Do what I just told you to do. And just like that, it wasn't a fight. It wasn't a war. Michael had all this power given to him from God to handle the situation. Yeah. Right? And he threw Lucifer down. Come on, huh? Like light. Huh? And Jesus was there too because he said, I saw him. Yeah. I'm the hell. He was like, I seen it. Yes, it wasn't even me, y'all. Yes, it was the angel. Yes, huh? The angel handled the angel. The angel handled the demon. Right? Huh? See, they handled their own image. Nothing that he gave another thing authority over. Yes, Lord. Wow. Come on. So God ain't concerned about no devil if he gave me authority over it. Come on, come on. Amen. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Okay. He, he ain't worried about none of that other stuff that you got going on when he's giving you authority over it. Yes. If he can give an angel authority, how much more can he give the Son of Man authority? The Son of God authority. Huh? Yes, Lord. And I'm a son of God. I don't know about y'all. Yes, I'm, 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 I'm 
a son of God. I'm a child of God. Now, I don't know about nobody else. But he's giving me authority over my own flesh. Yes, he has. See, I thought I was going to say devil. He gave me authority over my own flesh. Huh? Huh? And the earth. I can call a thing. I can pray a thing. I can send a word to a thing. Huh? It's according to your faith. Huh? According to your faith. Huh? There's two or three gathered together in this name. There he is. Huh? And we have, wow, check this. I ain't even looking at that part of it. We got the same authority to send the angels just like God sent the angels. Huh? Y'all want peace? Oh, yes. I told y'all how my angel looked and how he act. He a football player. He a fullback. So he fast. And he run people over. Right? I can send him to Israel and back in two minutes. Huh? We can. Huh? We get things right. Yes, yes, right. I ain't, yes, I'm looking, honestly. Yes, Some of that stuff ain't got nothing to do with God. No, on, I'm going to tell you the truth. Ain't nothing that's got nothing to do with God that we want to make it about God. It ain't yes, got nothing Lord. to do with God. Huh? But we want to make sure that, oh, this is God's just like. Come on. I'm a hush. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't want to, I don't want to step yes, on this. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Just Lord. like Rebecca. Yes, Lord. Figured he was who God chose. You still have a whole religion of folk, yep. ethnicity of folk, thinking that they are who God chose, but yes. they don't know Jesus. That's it. Amen. That's it. Huh? And if you don't know Jesus, you don't know God. That's John 17, 3. That's right. huh? Huh? You got to know God and his son who he sent. He said his name, Jesus Christ. Right. Huh? That's you got to right. know him. Yes, know. And I, yeah, you know, all that other stuff is yes, ritual. Lord. Don't nobody yes, care about it. I ain't gonna say nobody care about the ritual, yes, but Lord. if it ain't right with God, then leave it alone. Oh, That's yes. it. It ain't right yes, with me. Lord. If it ain't right with God. Yes, but I gotta make sure we ain't bamboozled and hoodwinked yes, and all that other stuff, yes, right? Huh? Yes, there's a lot of stuff going on out here, right? Yes, we focus on the wrong things. Yes, we praying for the wrong things, yes, and God ain't even there. We sending angels to the wrong place. And they're like, well, God ain't, I'm, no, God ain't really sent me. And I'm trying to be in accordance with your faith that God has given you. I can't sit up here and go over here and work miracles, signs, and wonders, right? I can't trouble the water over here when God ain't trying to trouble the water. Huh? Huh? If I start doing that, then I'm worshiping you and not God. I'm talking about the angels. That's what I'm saying. Huh? It, it's. it's all right, I'm, I got you, God. I'm, 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 yeah, okay. We'll talk about the angels later. That ain't where I'm at. Okay. That's a whole other message. <laughs> and I got it, too. I can give you scripture, verse, and everything. The angels are real, I'm telling you. Yes, they are. Yeah. And they know who they worship. Yes, they do. Do you know who you worship? Yes, I do. Even Lucifer still worship God because he, he, he just don't want him. Yeah. Okay. You hear what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. huh? It's folk that still worshiping God but don't want him. Yeah. Nah, nah, that sounds crazy, don't it? You hear what I'm saying? That sounds crazy. It's folks still going and, 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 and bowing down to a wall that God ain't there. But if you point them to the blood of Jesus, they don't want it. Huh? Point them to the blood of Jesus, they don't want it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Romans 5. It ain't. It ain't. That is. <laughs> I hear your boss. <laughs> Y'all gonna get this heat. <laughs> Y'all bundled up last week. Y'all gonna get this heat today. No, I'm sorry. Amen. Uh, Romans 5, verse 1. It says, Oh, that's how I was doing it last week. What? You was reading it, wasn't you? Okay. I'll, I'll give you a break today because you came today. Thank God. All right, it says, Therefore, being justified by what? Faith. Being justified by who? Faith. Who is our faith? Jesus. Huh? The Word of God. The Word of God is who? Jesus. Jesus. Okay, so our faith is who? Jesus. I want to make sure we clear on that. So we're justified by Jesus. 
Huh? Nothing else. No other name. No other work. But the work on the cross. Huh? That's what we're justified by. Mm -hmm. That's what we have access with. Okay, so keep going. I'm going ahead of myself. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We now have peace. So that means we ain't got to keep yes. warring. Yes, yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. We ain't got to war no. We ain't got to fuss. We ain't got to fight. Mm -hmm. Huh? We ain't got to prove our salvation. Huh? Oh we yes, just prove right. what the good and, uh, and perfect will of God is now. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to prove to you nothing. I got to prove that I can fulfill my faith given unto me right. huh? by the word of God, by his holy what? Spirit. Verse 2. By whom also we have access by this faith. So we got the what? The key. Yes. We got the key to faith. Yes. My God. We got keys to faith. And to this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. So we stand in a place called what? It's right there, y'all. Grace. <laughs> Let's put on our thinking caps today. <laughs> I'm a teacher, okay? <laughs> so we stand in a place called grace because of, because of our faith. Uh, and, and grace, I was saying to uh, Bible say, I think that was the other week, right? Grace is a place where we stand. And I, I gave an example, Apostle, is I had a room in my parents' house, right? My, that's, a, that's all. I had access to the whole house because I had a key by a certain age. By a certain age, I had my own key. All right, that's all another subject. Don't get it thrown off there. <laughs> but I had my own room, huh? And I was given grace and authority to design it whatever way I wanted to design it, right? I could put the posters up. Matter of fact, I remember we painted my, my room, we painted it blue. I'll never forget that. Me and, uh, oh, I can't remember. That was George Howe. He came and helped me paint. I, I learned how to paint for the first time in my life. And I said, I ain't painted since. But still. <laughs> And we painted that room blue. I had my posters up, all my basketball posters and everything. I even had my girlfriends up too. Yeah. Right, my first girlfriends, yeah. Tyra Banks and, and J-Lo. But um, <laughs> they was a, I had the authority. I had my own TV, right? Huh? I could watch it whenever I wanted to until I was told to turn it off. I could play my own video games, right? Because I had authority, huh? which is grace given unto me, right? By what? Faith. Huh? Because if I did what was the word given unto me, the uh, uh, the order, right, the, the rules, if I abided by that, I had the authority all over my room. That was my kingdom That's right. that I ain't had to pay for. That's, right. huh? That's grace. Yeah. See, come on. Y'all look at me like I'm crazy. God, he's showing us what grace is all through our lives. Huh? You got authority. You ain't got to pay for it. That's right. Huh? Because you got grace. Grace ain't mercy. Mercy is a whole other thing. Yeah. Grace is authority given to you to act on behalf of Woo! God. Huh? Yeah. To make sure that according to your faith, you're going to do right for yourself. Mm -hmm. huh? But, now this is the catch. <laughs> when the authority came into the room, I had to make sure it was what? Clean. Yeah. I had to make sure it was according to what I was told. According to my faith, I had to make sure I wasn't acting crazy in my room. Huh? I couldn't bring, well, I, I could depend on the day and the time and what we was eating. But I couldn't just bring food into my room, especially not leave it out. Right? Let, you, let the authority come into your room and it's all messed up with food all over the floor. <laughs> huh? It's going to be a whole other price to pay. Then you be paying. <laughs> huh? Right? You be paying. You, 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 a, you got afflicted now because you didn't went astray from the word. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I had to make sure that I up kept my authority, yes. my room, yes. my grace given to me. Huh? The grace given to me. Yes. Huh? And I had access to the rest of the house too. Right? Benefits. Benefits, thank you. Yeah. Huh? I got benefits to the rest of the house. Huh? Free access that I ain't got to pay for. That's right. I ain't had to pay for nothing. Nothing. Not a thing. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. 
shoot, not eight, but free too. Yes, you did. It's a certain age, I don't know. I've been paying bills, I told my father this, I've been paying bills since I was 15. You owe me some child support, huh? <laughs> I hope you're watching too. You know? <laughs> you owe me, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but you realize that God was showing me this. It's like grace ain't just me giving you stuff. It's me giving you authority to act on my behalf. Now. Huh? It ain't mercy. Mercy is a whole other thing. Right? Mercy is when you don't get kicked out of the house. When you should have got kicked out of the house. Hmm? Hello? Huh? And sometimes we got right. No, no, let's be real. We got kicked out the house, right? Yes. Because why? Because y'all wasn't doing what we supposed to do. We wasn't doing what we supposed to do. We got kicked out the house. Kicked out. That was a good, uh huh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Grace came <laughs> and picked us up off the street. Huh? Let y'all back in. And that was that, too. <laughs> Kick us out and go bring us back in. <laughs> uh, because we decided that. You know, we wasn't ready to, to do what we were supposed yes. to do. I know that's right. Everything is a decision whether we realize it or not, yes. right? Well, I'm going to decide I'm going to do it later. I'm going to decide I'm going to do it after I play this video game. Okay? I'm going to decide. I'm going to decide. Huh? So as your faith is, according to your faith, be it unto you. Oh, and you're going to see what happens when the true authority show up. Huh? Because when the true authority show up, it may be good, it may be bad. But it's gonna be God. <laughs> now we don't like that part, right? So in fact, he didn't like that part, That's right? When right. the true authority started to show up, and I'm, I don't mean the Babylonians, the Babylon, the Babylonians. I'm talking about God mm. saying, "Okay, I can set this person up. I can set this person up. I can set up this king. I can set up this authority. Whoever it is, I want to set up. I will set up." Uh huh. So I am no respecter of a person. Man. Whoever it is, I want, I will have. Mm -hmm. and so don't make it hard on yourself, and don't be on the wrong side of this thing. <laughs> don't be on, don't be on the wrong side of this thing. Consequences. So we stand in this place of grace, and then uh, uh, Elder Kamara made it plain. See, you got to make it plain. That's I know what I'm talking about today. Huh? Make it plain. And she looked up this word. This word is called what? A warranty. Ain't that what you said? A warranty. You gonna, I thought you were going to look it up real fast. I'll look it up. <laughs> Daddy, you look it up for your, your, <laughs> your Dutchess. You look it up for hurry up. War warranty. You got to make sure it's the right definition, too. You know, you gotta, look, she got to really have your anointing now. She got to find everything. You need. <laughs> but I'm going to keep reading. In verse 3, and not, so, not only so, but we glory in what? Tribulations also. Right? So tribulations are going to come. Huh? The hard times are gonna come. Yes, huh? The difficulties are gonna come. Right? That's all right. That's huh? All right. Somebody say, bring it on. Bring it on. Don't say it. Don't say it. Nope. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> it was just that movie. What's the bring it on movie? You know what I'm saying? We okay. don't know. All right. <laughs> yeah, baby, you know, you say, bring it on. And the girl say, it's already been brought to you. Okay. All right. That's 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 my age, anyway. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation working what? Patience. Huh? It working patience, huh? Sometimes tribulation is a word called no. Yeah. Huh? And he's got to sit still and wait on God. That's right. And Lord, I was ready. Why? 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 <laughs> and God said, No. Just hold up. Tribulation. Okay, now we gotta look that word up. Uh, Will, that's your job. Look up the word tribulation. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You text faster than that. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> Knowing that tribulation work in patience. Patience. And patience, what? Experience. Or as we learned last week, that word means what? Character. And character builds the hope that you have. And hope makes it not a shame because of who? The love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. All right, will you ready? Tribulation. Oh, 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 no, no, you go first, please. A state of great trouble or suffering. What is it? A state of great trouble or suffering. Wow. 
It's a tribulation. Y'all remember the dream I told y'all last week? Huh? I was going. Where I was, I was getting beat up by these zombies, right? Yeah. And, and they was choking me and beating me, and they, they made me lose my car, Big Betty. And that was my baby. And I had to lose my baby. Uh, but that was a place of tribulation because yeah. I didn't know what was going to happen. Yeah. All I knew is that I was getting beat. <coughs> huh? And I, I was getting to a place where it's like it was either God or me. Huh? Not, not nothing else. God or me. God or me. That's where I was. And so I had to make a decision. But the decision was already made for me. But I had to go through this tribulation because I had to realize that, hey, it's that, it's, it's, it's that serious. It's that serious. Huh? And tribulation, what's the word? What does it mean again? A state of great trouble or suffering. A suffering, right? A lot of us then went through suffering, right? Mm -hmm. Especially in this season, a lot of people going through, through tribulation. Huh? But, but it's all right. But it's going to work patience on the inside of each and every single one of us. Mm -hmm. Patience, 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 patience. Mm -hmm. uh, hold up. Wait for a second. I remember I, I, I was, this was a while ago, and, and one of the young men, he was here for a second. He told me, hey, I can get you a car. I'm like, oh, really? Give me a car? It was back in like 2009 or something like this. Now, mind you, I already had a car lined up just for me. Perfect, and this was the time I'm trying to build my credit and build everything else. Okay, and build everything else, and um, and, and, and I had a nice little car. It was a 2004 Aurora or something like that. But it was nice. It would be perfectly fine with me because God showed me the plan. It's a three-year plan I'm putting you on. Then come along this thing and it says, "Hey, I can get you this car," and I go on out there, go all the way to Ravenna. It's one of those nice Dodge Magnums back in the day. You know, it's nice. It's like, ooh, wait, look at God. Right? We start praising God. God already said what he said. Huh? But I'm trying to make God say something different. Huh? Like I ain't heard God before. And, and, and now it's like, oh, forget it. I just heard this. Right? Now it became about who? About me. Right? And, and about what God said. It's about me now. And I'm, I'm putting God in. He's still there. Huh? I'm putting God in. Yeah, God, God want me to have this. And he was saying, yeah, man, God, I want you to have this and all this other stuff. I'm like, okay. You know, well, let's go ahead and do it. Got that car. Drove around by the mall. You know, come to realize they ain't paid for something that they were supposed to pay for. I had it. It's best for me to just bring it on back. <laughs> for a whole month, I was sitting in cloud nine. <laughs> oh my. That's all right. <laughs> I was like, look at God. Look at God. Hello? Look at what he gonna do. He can do it with you too. You know, see then we start preaching when we got something. Hello? Look at what God can do. Huh? And that ain't a bit more than God. Huh? I kept saying, well, I deserve it. I heard other people say, you deserve it. You deserve it. I'm like, yeah, you're right. I do deserve it. Huh? <laughs> And come and find too. out that it was a whole drug ring behind that thing. Yeah, you're right. Let me take this car back now. <laughs> <laughs> I want my freedom, Lord. <laughs> now, whatever way you got to work patience in me, work it. <laughs> I don't want to be a part of this. Huh? And I missed out on the car that God had for me. Set me back five years. I, I, I never get that. Talking about who, the goal that I had set for, for myself and God, he, he said, yeah, let's go, let's do it. And he showed me the whole way. But because I, I decided God was somewhere else, I decided God was somewhere else. Huh? Not God. God's still standing over here. I got a whole fork for you. <laughs> huh? And, and so that was constant. Hello. Lord, that's what I tell my children. Don't be, don't be, don't be using what I tell my children against me. I'm happy to end here, right? <laughs> you get every consequence. There's always a consequence, whether right? good or bad. There's always a consequence, huh? And you don't get to decide what it's gonna be. Yeah, you can't. That go from children and grown folk alike. Hmm? 
That's still the same thing, yeah. right? And so, <laughs> you're using my stuff against me. Lord Jesus. <laughs> but you, 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 I had to realize, like, okay, God, I'm going to learn to wait on you. So when it was time for me to actually go get a new car again, I, she could attest to it. I, I sat there at that little signing table for a good three minutes before I signed anything, just looking. God, okay, it might have felt like three minutes. God, please, if this ain't it, I don't want it to be it. But you don't want it to be it. And I'm okay. I'm okay. So should I sign this thing or not? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know. Because I don't want to get too far ahead of you to where I'm doing it. So you got to learn. You, you got to learn. From your own sake, for your own sake, you got to learn, yeah. huh? Yeah. I, I was afflicted because I went astray. Ain't that the word? Yeah. Yeah. I was afflicted because I went astray. That's right. Huh? And not because nobody duped me into it. Mm -mm. I can say I can play victim now. Oh, they they lied to me. Mm -mm. They took this from me. Choices. Even if I would have said it, I still wouldn't get nothing back. <laughs> huh? Because I did go up there. I'm like, well, how y'all gonna do this? How y'all gonna do it? I can look. That's right. You just wasn't there that day. I'm trying to say it. That's right. <laughs> huh? Ain't nothing changed. I still had to deal with the consequences. Yeah. I still had, I had to deal with that. Yeah. Huh? And so once I realized that I got to deal with the consequences that I create, mm -hmm. I learned a little bit of patience. Yeah. And a little bit. Still learning a little bit of patience. <laughs> huh? We are still learning this thing called patience. Huh? Because in that, that patience brings on a, a, a character. And I'm, I'm reading the word. Verse 4, it says experience or character. Huh? And, and, and that experience brings a hope. Because now, I done banked on who God has made me or developed in. He done gave me a glimpse of who he wanted me to be. And because I'm patient, I'm waiting on his word, I can say, okay, God, I can actually hope for this now. And I can see this thing now. Huh? Because I'm patient. And it, it ain't just, it, it, it's not just character for myself. And it's not just hope for myself. Yeah. It's hope for others. Yeah. Oh, God, I know I can go to you in prayer, huh? Yeah. To make sure my family's safe. Yeah. Right. Huh? And I ain't got to, check this out. I ain't got to beat them over the head with the gospel. I just got to live it. Right. Yes. Because the character that you develop on the inside of me, huh? Yeah. Through tribulation, through patience, yeah. huh? Now I have your experience. Now they can experience you. Yeah. Now I can hope for your glory yeah. even more because yeah. of the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah. hallelujah. Yeah. That shed abroad in my heart. Yes. Uh, the love of God that shed abroad in my heart yes. because of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Hmm? God trying to get us the Holy Ghost. He ain't trying to get us nothing else. That's right. uh, everything else is, is added on. Right. Uh, it's a promise. It's a part of the promise. You'll have it. Uh, you have perfect health. You have perfect peace. Huh? You, you, you have money, you have houses, you have cars, you have land, right? You have oxes, you have cattle, right? Some of y'all don't want no oxes and cattle now, but I'm saying. Uh, you have food, right? You, you, will, you, 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 you will never lack, right? You be the head and not the tail. It's all in the promise, but I can't get there without the promised one, which is the Holy Spirit. That's right? You said something about tribulation. Uh, we can buy our own tribulation, right? Yes. Yes. Or we can wait and let it come and God work us through it, right? Yes. But you bought some tribulation, right? I bought some tribulation. I bought it too. Well, here's what I'm saying. I'm saying for all of us as new believers, because uh, I looked at therefore being justified by faith, we have peace, peace with God through the Lord Jesus Christ, right? Right. And so. In order to keep the peace, I have to stick with the plan. Mm -hmm. Plan. The script, right? Mm -hmm. the script. script, yeah. Or I can buy tribulation and put it off for a little while. Mm -hmm. Put everything off. Okay. <laughs> uh, you be delayed. That instant gratification is delayed. Wow. That instant gratification. Right. That instant gratification will delay you. 
Yes. It will delay you. Yes. I'm, I'm, ask me how I know. I know. Don't ask me. Over. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that instant gratification. Uh, it's this people I'm looking at. They nowadays this is it's a thing now to just build a family without marriage. Yeah. Right. Oh, it's, it's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. Uh, and I ain't knocking nobody because we everybody they, they have kids out of wedlock and all this other stuff and the thing is now is that it's okay because we misuse what grace is oh God will forgive you right right God will forgive you it's okay because everybody more happy about the baby than they care about the sin uh, now realizing that yes the, the, the child is a gift to God Ain't nobody telling you to send a child back. I ain't going to tell you that. Bring the child home. Let the child be saved. And they raise them up in the things of the Lord. But don't you sit up there and put on that child the things that's not of God. Because hmm? we start doing that, and we, do make, we make it a norm, excuse me, a norm huh, to go against God. Yeah, that's right. And therefore, we're paying for tribulation. Because right. we no longer are in peace with God. That's right? Right? We can have one baby out of the way like, okay, okay. All right. Learn your lesson. Learn your lesson. Learn your lesson. Because this, trust and believe me, having a child out of wedlock, no, I don't know, but out of wedlock, huh? That'll put you back. Yes, it will. Huh? Mm -hmm. Honestly, it'll change the whole course of life. Yes, it does. Right? You're going somewhere else, and, and, and now you've got to take care of a whole other life. And you got to nurture that, that life into something that's what he or she is supposed to be. Huh? Because now it's, it's, it's about them. Huh? Y'all can have children. Y'all know how I get it. It's all about my baby. Huh? It's all, I work for them. Huh? I wake up for them. Huh? I mean, when I wake up early for them to wake up. That's not, now I wake up for that. But, <laughs> but I got to have a whole plan set now. Uh -huh. I don't get to just sit and chill no more. Now, I don't get to just sit and do my own thing. Huh? Especially if you're a single parent, now you got to make everything happen on your own. Huh? And pray the grandparents do something. <laughs> Come on. That's mercy. That's for real. No, that's for real. Right? That's great. Y'all crazy and nannies and all the other papas. Y'all take care of the kids too. Huh? Because it does become about the child. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Because that's what it's supposed to be. Huh? You create, you take care of. Yes, huh? You build in the village. Huh? Right. But don't you sit up here and keep on having kids Amen. thinking I'm going to take care of. Yeah. Come on. Problem is, you know I'm going to take care of. That's right. That's See, that's the thing. That's right. You know. That's huh? right. You know, that's and you right. taking that for granted. Right. It's all right. Because right. I'm going to take them kids, that's and right. I'm going to put them where they're supposed to that's be. Right. And you're going to have to deal with the consequences. That's right. That's right. But then again, your child is still doing it. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, 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 right. Don't be bringing them in the mess Come on. thinking it's all right. Because you're going to still have to pay for it. Yes. Yes. And now you're making a whole other generation pay for it. Yeah. Huh? That ain't, that ain't God's plan. Right. And we making this about God. Look at how strong God made us through all of this. Huh? Because they didn't graduate, they didn't went to college, and they didn't made it through. And they they going through stuff that they ain't even have to go through. Just because they graduate, you think you get a good job. Huh? But you tell them what God said, they ready to flip out on them. It don't matter how much intellect they got, how much common sense they got. They don't know God, they going to hell. They don't know Jesus, they going to hell. And that's not God's plan. Amen. Huh? So we paying the cost. Yes, we paying the cost every time we get out of his word. Every time we get out of his plan. Every time we get out of his desires. Huh? His desires aren't selfish. Not hallelujah. It's higher. Koshaya. His desires aren't selfish. Huh? But his desires are because he already know what he's put on the inside in each and every single one of us yes, to accomplish. Yes, right. Don't make this harder than what it is. Hmm? I ain't mad at nobody. God ain't mad at nobody. But you're going to be mad at yourself. Did I say verse 5 already? 
I did. That's what I was. Okay. Go on to, to the to the next. Cause I'm gonna, yeah, here we go. James two and we go. We're gonna get on out of here. Yes, sir. You're gone. Whoo! Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Stop giving God the, the glory for stuff he ain't in. Come on now. No, that's right. Don't put his name in. Oh, I thought you okay. I'm sorry. Please don't. I was asking a question. Uh, uh, stop, stop, stop giving God warranty. That's the word. Okay. <laughs> you still got it? <laughs> well, what's the definition of warranty? Preach it. <laughs> I got it from so I don't know which one she Just did. preach it, girl. Come on. <laughs> It is a stipulation, uh -huh. explicit or implied, an assurance of some particular in connection with the contract. In connection with what? With the contract. In connection with what? A contract. Wow. So what's the contract? Word. The word of God. Mm -hmm. huh? And I got to agree on that contract. Right. Huh? I got to agree on that contract. Huh? If I agree on that contract, I'm in the warranty. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Huh? I guess I can still get stuff for free. Huh? I can still stay in grace when I agree on the contract. That's keep right. Going. When you keep the contract. Go ahead. Huh? That's it. That was it? Mm -hmm. It's more than that. Okay. Is it a two? <laughs> Is it a three? Uh, yeah. Preach it, girl. Um. <laughs> Whichever one you choose, that's the one we're going to go with. Property law is another black term for warranty. It's a covenant. A what? A covenant. A what? A covenant. Look at you preaching. What is it? A covenant. Keep going. Express or implied uh -huh. by which the vendor of real property vouches for the security that the title conveys. Wow. Okay, now. Now, those are big words, though. Let's start over. Okay, <laughs> now. Go so, ahead. A warranty is property law, which is a covenant. Uh -huh. It's expressed or implied by which the vendor of real property vouches for the security that the title conveys. Wow. So the owner mm -hmm. or the giver mm -hmm. of the property, mm -hmm. huh? Huh? He vouches for the one it was given to. Mm -hmm. That no matter what, they gonna be good. They covered. They covered. The refrigerator go out, they cover. Give them a new one. Huh? Garage door stop working, they cover. Give them a new one. Huh? Plumbing messed up, they cover. Give them a new one. Huh? It's all covered under the warrants. Huh? Property law, right? Wow. Whose property are you? God's property. GP, are you with me? Come on. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm That's all right. right. We have a church here. Go ahead. Y'all know who Kirk Franklin is? Oh, yeah. You know, oh, y'all better get hit. It's always hard. <laughs> huh? But we God's property. Yeah, come on. Now as long as I'm God's property, huh, I'm covered. Yeah. As long as I'm covered. See, we, a lot of times we question who our covering is. We get outside of the cover. Huh? Because there's there, there, there's contractors that the property and the vendor sets up huh, over the thing to service the thing. Huh? Yes, it is. Right? I, I, I work with um, Ryan Holmes as they develop houses and stuff. And, and they don't come out themselves. They send the contractors. Right. Huh? Or property managers. Oh, I like that. Property managers, developers. Right. Developers. Developers. Huh? To come and work on the property. Right. And everything in it so that you be straight. Huh? So. He'll send a property manager or a developer, right? <laughs> huh? He, he ain't gonna come out and sell the property owner. But he gonna let you the contract. <laughs> huh? He sends the contractor out and say, okay, we're gonna get this fixed. We're gonna get this, we're gonna keep this done. All right, let me see. Let me inspect what's going on. Um, a lot of times we don't wanna let the contractor in the house. Huh? I'm a man just like you, man. You hear what I'm saying? Huh? Why I got to do what the contractors say do? Why I got to do what the plumbers say do? 
Huh? Why well, I got to do what the apostles say do? Let me make it plain. <laughs> huh? Why well, I got to sit up under them? Huh? Why well, I got to go to church every Sunday? Why well, I got to go to Bible study? I can go to God myself. Huh? But God ain't bringing you for him to, to him. Huh? He's giving you someone <laughs> to perfect you. Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4. Let's go there real quick. I know. I... Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4. Uh, uh, verse 11, right? It says, and he gave some what? Apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the what? Perfecting. Well, stop it. Hold on. Hold on. The what? Perfecting. Huh? That means that we all still broken up with our pastors, apostles, prophets, teachers, huh? Evangelists, huh? Our ministers, right? The ushers. We all need one another. Huh? I need the elders. I need everybody. I can't do this on my own. Huh? Because I come on my own. I'm broke. I'm messed up. I'm misguided. Huh? I get pompous. I get prideful. Huh? My heart is not right within me because I'm push myself up, pump myself up, right? But according to the faith that's been given to me, which tells me to sit down under somebody, huh? talk to one of the elders, right? You got an issue, go to the elders. Huh? Don't go to God, because you got an issue, God ain't hardly hearing you. That's the book. <laughs> ain't that the book? Yeah. I ain't just making this stuff up. Huh? He said go to the elders. Make it right. Because you got to knock. Don't come praying to me. And here we go. We trying to pray for a whole other nation. And we mad at ourselves. Right. We can't get right with God for ourselves. The church is crazy, y'all. You know? no, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. they, they tiptoe. We tiptoe on the line that we ought not tiptoe. That's right. Huh? We can't figure out what God is saying about a thing. Because we more interested in the money that we're going to get from the government than it's a problem. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we more interested in the agendas that we have than it's a problem in the church. Forget mm -hmm. right. right. uh, all of that other stuff. Now, what God said? Yes, right. What did God say? I got to make it right. That's right. I don't care if you're white, black, Asian, That's Latino, right. whatever it may be. That's I got to right. make it right with my brother and my sister. Yes, That's right. right. Huh? I can't be up here thinking I'm I'm pulling rank because somebody is doing something I'm not. I'm, I'm mincing words, y'all. <laughs> somebody doing something that I'm not, huh? If God told them to do it, I'm with them too. That's right, amen. Huh? Mm -hmm. If God told me to let you pray for me, okay, you pray for me. I ain't out here. I ain't Jesus. I made His image and His likeness, right? But that only happened when two of us show up together. Yeah. There he is, right? Yeah. There he is. Right, if I can show up with every single one of y'all, without order, without dissension, mm -hmm. huh? Jesus can be there. But if we all warring against each other, how we think we're going to answer any other thing, any That's other right. problem? Amen. Come on, Spirit. That's true. Amen. That's right. Verse 12. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of what? The ministry, well, I like this one, or the edifying, or the what? The building up, or the developing, right, of the body of Christ. We're always developing, y'all. We are developing into something good, right? Mm -hmm. So we all come in the unity, wow, I like that word, say that word, unity. Unity. Of the faith mm -hmm. and of the knowledge of the Son of God, mm -hmm. unto a perfect man, perfect unto man. the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Mm -hmm. So we still being built up. Mm -hmm. uh, we we still being developed, mm -hmm. right? Y'all 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 roll down the opportunity corridor lately, like mm -hmm. huh? The opportunity mm -hmm. corridor down by Cleveland Clinic. Yeah, you ever been there, Cleveland Clinic, in, in the past yeah. past year? <laughs> yeah, You see what's going on? Yeah. It don't look nothing like what we were used to see, That's right. Right? right? It's a whole different city now. Yes, wow, huh? Yeah, this is always a cycle of development. Yeah. Always a cycle of development. <laughs> yep. God told me, because this is when I, I first started getting into the whole real estate industry, he was like, every 20, 30 years, 
everything in real estate will change mm -hmm. every 20 30 years because there's always a new generation with That's different right. ideas different vision for it mm -hmm. uh, so when you see stuff abandoned broke down and all that other stuff it's okay yeah, don't get mad get just know that we are merging into a new development yeah. mm -hmm. uh, yeah. don't get mad huh don't be like elder debbie and be like oh i remember they had this over here how did they just do that they just took away everything we <laughs> they just took it all away they ain't got no history now <laughs> It's all right. <laughs> it's okay. Huh? We still living. We still going. Huh? Don't be like a bad huh? How dare these people come and take what's ours? Huh? Tell her to loose that up at the street now. <laughs> huh? But we still developing. Huh? Ever so developing. God ain't in the land. He's in the people. That's right. You hear me? He ain't in the land. He's in the people. Huh? And so wherever he goes, that's where we ought to be. Huh? His faith is what? Right now. Right. right now. Huh? So wherever he goes, that's where I'm gonna be. Huh? And and, and there's a passage in Exodus um, 14, right? When when they were about I'm done, I'm done. And when they were uh about to cross the Red Sea. I'll go to it real quick. Exodus 14, you know. I know I told y'all James, and I'm I'm out here in Exodus. That's a whole millennium away. <laughs> whole thousands, a couple thousand homes. <laughs> Exodus 14. Now this is when, not this is when um, it was the Exodus from Egypt, and the Israelites were uh, were were were, were who? Get that, can you get that paper burn. I don't want to roll the notes. Oh, okay, praise the Lord. Amen. Okay. <laughs> Amen. All right. <laughs> this is when they were in the Exodus from Egypt. And, um, you know, they finally got away. All these plagues didn't happen. They didn't have a plague. The firstborns dying, the, the bugs, and they done went and flew all over them. And, and you had the leeches, and then they had the hemorrhoids, or whatever it was. <laughs> they had the hemorrhoids. <laughs> I can't describe it no other way. <laughs> they had everything, right? And, and, and so now they finally made it out. Right? By the grace of God. Now, they made it out, and now that they got to this sea, and they look, Lord, you done brought us out here to die. That's what they said. Huh? That's what they said. I'm in the book, I know. I'll be theatrical with it, so I don't just be reading. I like to be theatrical. So, um, you done brought us out here to die. How dare you do this? Moses, you just brought us out here to die? And Moses just looking. So we read verse 13. It says, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. But there was a problem with like that. Because that ain't what God was saying. Hear me? Y'all about to read the rest. That ain't what God was saying. He ain't want you to be still and look at your enemies. Because as far as God was concerned, he handled them. That's right. Huh? Trust me, they was handled. They was just mad. They, was just huh? mad. they knew they couldn't touch the Israelites. That's right. Huh? They was just mad. They wanted to see where they was going. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's right. Huh? You just gonna let them up and leave after they they got and killed your son? Huh? After he even gave all your workers hemorrhoids and all that other stuff? You just gonna let them up and leave? Them are workers. Them was our slaves. Mm. Right? Not really. Mm -hmm. no, but that's exactly. the same thing sin says to us. Uh -huh. Huh? You my slave. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. It's, it's in the book. Yeah. It's in the book. Yeah. Huh? You my slave. Uh -huh. Huh? You gonna stay with me. Mm -hmm. Huh? And we're not realizing that, wow, this this we want to carry it with us in the glory. Huh? And it becomes a weight, right? That we can't sit down. Because we're trying to carry it in. Hallelujah. Whew, trying to carry it in the glory with us. Huh? And God, like, oh, no, I need you to let that go. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And that's it. Just keep on saying, no, you mind. You mind. Huh? And so God came down and said, the Lord, okay, so, so, so Moses said, the Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. 
Verse 15, I like this part. There's people, they tend not to read the whole thing. And so he says, and the Lord said unto Moses, why are you crying to me, boy? <laughs> Is that what it say? In my language, that's, that's the book of see. <laughs> why are you crying to me? Uh -huh. Why are y'all talking? Why are y'all begging me for another thing? All I'm telling you to do is go forward. Yes. Go forward. Yes. Stop being. Don't don't stand still. Come Not on. now. Come this on. ain't the season to stand still. Come on. Come on. Huh? Keep going forward. Yeah. Yeah. Moses, all you got to do is use that same rod that you've been using yeah. that I've given you authority with. Yeah. Use the same rod and move the water out of the way. Yeah. Because I'm well, focused on the opposition. Jesus. Stop focusing on the opposition. Huh? What are your things? You didn't bring it. I didn't bring mine either. Right. Look great the baby's saying. Lord, I ain't even bring it. Oh, going I don't know. I should know about her. This is me know about her. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> Who's the judge? God is the judge. Why is he the judge? Because he determines who wins or lose. He does what? Decides who wins or lose. And who is my opponent? Did I say that right? Did I say that right? He's a mere descending voice of the truth that I speak. Yes. I ain't got no opponent. No, you don't. I ain't got no enemy. No. He's just a fading voice. That's right. Huh? Pharaoh in Egypt, they was just a fading voice. Yep. Uh, they seen the chariots coming. It's just a little bit of noise compared to what was about to happen. Wow. Huh? Oh, you got it? You late. Oh, oh, you got it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> huh? He's just a mere descending voice. Huh? Them chariots what nothing about ooh, all the noise. Can you imagine the noise that it made when the seeds when the seeds departed? Huh? Now I yeah. believe now according to, to history, Jewish history, it divided itself into twelve different walls or something like that. It wasn't just a, a party. I don't know. That's what they said. I don't know. But all I know is that it parted. Right. That's all that matters. That's right. That's all that matters. <laughs> huh? It parted. And they went through. Huh? That's they right. They went through dry land. Now that wasn't a, that wasn't an hour trip across that, that land. That was about a day. A whole day. They was walking through an ocean or a sea. A sea. Looking at the wall of the sea all around them. Like, wow, look at this. You think they was looking back at Pharaoh? No. No. You think they was looking back at the enemy? No. Huh? You think that? No. See, I can but, <laughs> but they wasn't. No. I ain't worried about. I said like my, my daughter said, my sixteen year old said, I ain't worried about the op. Right. I mean opposition. I'm cool, ain't I? I'm cool. That's I'm, right. You worried about the op, huh? <laughs> huh? Don't be worried about the op, huh? <laughs> huh? Yeah. I heard our friends, they teach me different words every other day. It's like, wow. Okay. Make them up. I'm trying to be cool with one of their old friends. You know, this, this teenage stuff, you know, these teenage girls, they, they ruthless. <laughs> you just grew up with this girl. What you mean she a hot? <laughs> she used to come in the house all the time. Y'all walk from school together. How's she a hot? Now our new best friend, like, yeah, she a hot. <laughs> I don't understand. You, 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 you hugged her. No, you can't talk to him. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's the hop. Huh? That's how God is with us, though, right? Huh? I had this thing since I was a baby, Lord. Huh? I want to. Huh? No, 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 no. That's the op. That's the opposition. No, no, no. Huh? She want to have an op. Yeah, she only get mad because she took her little boy for nine times to have it in the first place. But anyway. <laughs> That's how I go with girls, right? That's how I go. <laughs> this should be all right. <laughs> That's right, but we more focus on the opposition than it is God. Mm -hmm. So the, one of the greatest miracles ever known to man that people still talk about to this day, what would happen if I continued to focus on the opposition, Moses? Mm -hmm. God said, and the Lord said unto Moses, wherefore Christ thou unto me. This is King James I'm speaking of. Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. That they do what? 
work some. But lift thou up thy rod that I gave you, huh? And stretch it out. Stretch out thine hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's, that's verse 16. And that verse, yeah, that's verse 16. See? The children, huh? Israel. Y'all know what Israel means, right? Mm -hmm. Huh? It's nothing but the Son of God, mm -hmm. the Prince of God. So if you say through Jesus Christ, you are Israel. Yes. Israel ain't a place, That's it's a right. person. That's right. I know it's a land that they call it. I ain't, I ain't against all that. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, it's a person. And the embodiment of Jesus Christ that we've become a part of. Yes. So I can walk now on dry land. I ain't got to worry about the opposition. I ain't even got to worry about the sea falling in on me. Wow. Y'all see what that, huh? Because it went on to say that Pharaoh and them thought that they could go ahead and cross the sea too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, they got that in favor. They thought, well, shucks, if they got it for them, do it with me.
You see it from another angle. I see the angle of authority and power. And I took my position. Don't be sitting up here on the side of God. Huh? Would you know what God would have said to him? Would you know what God said to him? Huh? Don't be sitting here. Look, I told him too. Like, look, I don't know, Pastor. No, 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 no. Don't be dishonoring God and he said a thing. Huh? Yes. As far as I'm concerned, you did it with grace. Yes, <laughs> yes it was a grace. Shoot, I had to stand up. I was sitting all the way over on the other side. I said, let, let me go ahead over here so I can try to stand in, in the place where I'm supposed to stand. Because it was time, right? Yes, it, 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 it was time. Huh? So when, when it's time for us to, to stand in place, don't be focused on the opposition. That's it. Some of us just got to speak a word. 
Because either of you, I, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, because you already know. All right? Don't be playing with God. Because you know. Okay? Mm -hmm. He's come to you in peace. You go in peace and you speak the word. Uh, don't play around in your life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You get tough. You, you see a lot. You see a lot. You see a lot. I know. There's a lot going on that you want answers to. And you're trying to figure out what God's going to do with you. He already did it. Right? You believe that? Now he's giving you what? Authority. To take over. Huh? To take over. He's giving you that. Don't be thinking you ain't got it. And this is time for you to move out of that old place and into the new place. And it's story. It would happen. We, we understand. We, you done went through it. We all done went through it. I ain't belittling what you done gone through. But God ain't there no more. He's ahead of us. Follow him. You been reading the word? I believe. This week, I want you to try something. Because it's going to happen. You, you, you call this man God, right? Just once, okay? Once. Call him and ask him what God wants you to read and pray. He's going to have it tomorrow. He have it. He'll have the answer tomorrow. He might have it when we walk out of here. God, God's going to have fast. He's going to need some time. I don't know. But it's going to be an answer.
already speaking. Open thy mouth and declare what I've said. Say that I'm a child. As Jeremiah says, I'm a child, no. But the Lord says, the word is nigh thee even in thy mouth and in thy heart. It should be as plain as hello, how are you? I speak to you in a plain and simple way. And you will speak on my behalf in a plain and simple way. But we have already talked. And I will increase the talk. And I will increase you as you increase my people by what I've said. This is your time. But say not that I am a child. Say it in the spirit of grace. The Lord reminded me as to why your name was Danielle, because I didn't name you, and neither did your father. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Lord gave it to him, and that's why your name is Danielle, yes, because of who you are. That's right. Daniel, the prophet. Your promotion and your increase is in your obedience to me, say the Lord. As I bless 
Daniel because of his obedience. Not that he was looking for a blessing. I blessed him. I commanded him to be blessed by the people around him. And as you're obedient to my voice, say the Lord, I shall bless you and increase you. Hey, my God, he too shall love I shall increase you and promote you. Say the spirit of grace. Wow. You, you have the, the same gifting. You do. See, I have the same gifting. Just as timid as she may seem, as timid as you may seem to be, but you guys are warriors. You don't take down. You don't back up. You don't look like a fighter, but you are a fighter. Mildly manner. In this you spirit. Guys fight you, don't you? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, the same word God gave her, He's given to you. And I hear the Lord say, Get busy. Get busy. And watch and see what I will do. I'll open doors that no one else could open. Because of your obedience towards me and what I say. Say the spirit of grace. The Lord bless you both. Amen. 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 Prophecy is open now. Come on. There y'all are. Um, Danielle, the Lord said, as prophets, we declare, we decree. And God said, open your mouth and declare and decree and move the mountain. It shall be moved once you declare and decree it to be so. Mm -hmm. See, as prophets, we pay a big price for the office. So it's not by not use it, walk in it, and watch God. Amen. God says when you do that, things change. When you raise your hands, the devil flees. Yes. Your very presence, when you enter a room, changes the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the love that you have in you. Every gift that God is going to give you is going to operate through the, through the love you have. And just you having a heart full of love and compassion, you will raise the dead. You will see blind eyes open. Every time you think, you got this word before, right? <laughs> so every time you raise your hand, the devil trembles. He flees. He runs. Witches burn. When you raise your hands, gathering places, demonic gathering places are set on fire. Mm. If you wake up in the midnight hour, just walk to the bathroom and raise your hands. Tear down his kingdom. Amen.
do not worry. Just speak back. Your mother said the thing. Every time you think a thought, what you gotta do? Answer. Did you know what God said? As far as God is concerned, I'm proud of you. 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 Saying that many times so you ain't got no time to hear nothing else. <laughs> I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. So whatever you say, it shall be. You did a good job. Yet you are doing a good job. So, oh. The past is behind you, faithful Lord. The past is behind me. The best is yet to come. You have nothing to fear. You have nothing to fear. I hear the word, no holds barred. That means nothing can stop you now. Nothing can stop you now. I hear the spirit of the Lord say, the sky's the limit. Go forth and do the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. The sky's the limit. The Lord said, sustain from sex. No more. He's your lover. He and he alone is your lover. And when he calls, as he calls your name, the song came to me. Lovely as a ray of sun that touches me when the morning comes. Feels good to me. Smoother than a fresh wind. That's from the Isley Brothers. You know, I have brothers, right? Uh -huh. Living for the love of you. Listen to that song and let God just love on you. Just let him make love to you. You are his. He is yours. Y'all are one. Sustain from sex. Go without it. You don't need it. I'm a little, you don't need it. That person God has for you, it's just for you. Get ready. Make your body ready for that one. And you're going to love love like you've never known it before. Amen. Just the spiritual promotion and moving in God, but you have need of some things here in the natural, and God said He's going to do that for you. So don't worry about what's in your hand, because God said, I'm about to put it in your hand like never before. I'm about to give you that very thing to keep you woke up. He said, I'm about to do that for you. So stop worrying about it. He said, I got you. I got you. It don't matter the amount that seems impossible to you. But God said, I got it. Amen. Okay? 
Walker Baker. You didn't mess anything up. Stand in that. You're still within warranty. You're still covered under the blood. He said, if you make your bed in hell, he'll be with you. And if you make it in heaven, he'll be with you. He called you before the before the foundation of the world. Your seed is not corrupted. And you have so back into good ground. Now wait for your harvest. Position yourself. Clean, stay pure, keep your hands clean so you can receive the harvest. And see, this is this is what happens. This the heavens are open. The heavens are open. This is what you did. This is what you did. You don't even know. But this is what you did. In order for the word of prophecy to come forth like it did, if there's a certain sound. There's a certain sound that reaches God's ears. You know, He makes His presence. This is what you did. As I live, according, according to the faith, to the faith that, you've given me. that you have given me. Amen. 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 Let's give God a hand. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 It's offering time. FCA1989 or by mail P.O. Box 10368, Cleveland, Ohio, 44110. Y'all like that? Zero. Okay, never mind. All right. <laughs> Guess what this month is? How's your appreciation, Pastor? How y'all know that? She is ahead of me. <laughs> All right, October is Faster Appreciation Month. Ooh, she reached way back. Yeah. That's an old picture. An old picture. <laughs> and we definitely do love our apostles and appreciate them for pouring into us, praying for us, and correcting us. Love offerings can be given via Cash App, uh, dollar sign Apostles Bunkley or Zell. Prophet Sam. Okay, I'm just going to read that part. P R O P H E S A M at AOL.com. Uh, that's her Zell 
or whatever other method you would like to use to bless our apostles. Amen? Amen. Hey, man, let's bless our apostles this month. <laughs> and every month. And every day, you know. About every day this month, y'all just send the apostle a text and say, we love you. In all caps. With a bunch of emojis there. Yeah, a bunch of emojis for them. Yeah. <laughs> Then you gotta misspell words too, make them all different words. Like, <laughs> I'll be praying for them. I'll be praying for them. <laughs> Amen. There will be Wednesday Bible study at 7 o'clock. Fasting uh, Thursday and Friday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And prayer on Saturday at 9 a.m. You heard that, Daniel? You heard that? See, the Lord is working on her. We're going to get a yes out of her. Amen. Be obedient to the Lord. No, no. <laughs> but be here if you can. Amen. Amen. Don't be finished. I'm going to pray God. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. There will be an usher, uh, usher cough layer, cup bearer meeting on this Saturday, October 21st at 11 a.m. If you are unable to attend, please contact Elder Philip Lee or the wonderful Sister Tracy Barnes over Amen. here. Amen. Raise your hand. Say hey. Hi, y'all. Okay. okay. <laughs> Amen. And it is that time of the year. It is harvest time. We literally were just talking about this yesterday on the, on the road. Uh, Lift Timbo Apostolic.